welcome to the Death Ray Cat channel. We're going to do a request. We're going to look at the gun club. This one was a request by Michael, a student. I do lessons. I'm going to have the tabs in my Patreon below. You can sign up to that for the price of a pint. On the recording, there's two guitars going on. I'm going to show you the chords first of all, so you can strum along. So we've got an E minor. <laughs> That's a D. Back to the E minor. Then we got a G. Back to E minor. G. So it's something like this. Those timings are a little weird. If you're playing along to the record, you got to listen to the vocals because that kind of indicates when it's coming in. The lead lines start just a little bit before the bar. It's kind of confusing if you think about it too much. If you just listen to it, you'll be fine. So, and I'm doing a simplified version of this. It's kind of different each time because you can add little hammer-ons and slides and things like that but I'm going to show you a simple version. So we're going to start with the second fret on the A string, then the open D, then the second fret on the D string. Then we got a little slide up to the fourth fret. Then we're going to go back to the second. Then we're going to go to the open D, back to the second again. Do a hammer on there if you like, whatever. Oh. You might hear throughout the songs there's slightly different ways that it's being played, so you can play around with that. The next bit starts the same. Those three notes, second, uh, second fret on the A, open D, and second fret on the D. Then we're going to slide up to the 4th fret again, back to the 2nd, and then go to the open D this time. That matches up when the rhythm guitar is playing a D chord. That will become important when you try and play both together later on. Single notes for now. Then same again, it's almost the same as the first time round. Second fret on the A, open D, and second fret on the D. This time, we go open D, and then back to the second fret on the D, which is an E. But then we're gonna go to a low E, second fret on the E, and then 3rd fret on the E, which is the G, and that matches up to when you're going to be playing the G chord. Anyway, up to the G, back to the 2nd fret, and then open again, and we kind of go back up there again. So all together, that little passage. There's your riff happens in the intro and it also happens in the verse. So what I like to do and what I've seen Jeffrey Lee Pierce doing in some of the videos where he's just playing acoustic by himself is he's kind of taking the lead part and playing a bit of the chords behind it. It's a little tricky, but if you have a go at it, basically what we're going to do is use those shapes of the chords and with those those passing notes and things like that. So I'll show you how I do it. 
So on the intro, we kind of start off just with the lead part. So what I'm doing there is instead of playing the full chord, I'm strumming three strings here, the D, the G, and the B. If I start strumming too low, that lead part kind of gets lost. So After you've done that lead part, you can kind of start chugging with that full E minor. Also, if you want to spice up the intro a bit, there's a little bit of hammering on, on that first note. When it gets up to the D part, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of an interesting right hand thing going on. We're picking out some of these notes around the D chord as well. I can't get it exactly what's happening, but I'm hearing this D here on the B string, then an open E, then the second fret on the E string there with the F sharp, and then the G, which is the third fret on the E. So something like that. Um... And then some kind of general D strumming. Back to the riff. Uh... So there again, so we kind of, we're playing the main riff, but we're just opening up that right hand a little bit to hit some of those other strings. So it's a bit of trial and error, see what works. And you kind of want to target your right hand to hit those main notes to let them come through, if that makes sense. So when we get up to the part when we go into the G, you kind of just whack in those lower E strings. So. I'll do that slowly. Those three notes are kind of singular. Then it's just a general G strum. Then back with the single notes onto the second fret there. That's pretty much it. to an A7 here. I'm hearing this, this high A here, so I'm thinking it's a major 7 bar chord here. Might be hearing some of this little finger going down to the 7th fret. That chord there, it's like a major bar chord, but we're taking off the little finger and that's going onto the B string on the 8th fret. That's kind of coming off and on, and maybe even bent a little bit. Then it goes back to the E minor. But I'm hearing some, uh, I'm hearing some of that seven there, third fret on the B string. Works with finger picking if you can do that. sort of thing. That's pretty much the entire song. There you go. Thanks for watching. There you go. Tabs are in the Patreon if you want to support me. It's only £5. That's a price of a pint a month and you get all my back catalogue of all the other tabs and backing tracks um, I do one-on-one -on -one lessons occasionally if you want to get in touch about that thank you very much see you later